in our public buses on the road, we also get to see some interesting fun facts, while some of them are somewhat knowledgeable for us to learn. We discover some fun facts we can share with our fellow bus enthusiasts in Singapore. So be it about the buses themselves, the bus routes, or some gossip or rumours. Welcome to Fun Fact Friday! In this week's episode of Fun Fact Friday, DMU will bring you a rather exciting fact on the preferable of non aircon and aircon buses. Do watch the entire video, as it is rather shocking for you to know both sides. In the 1980s, Service 168 was the first bus service in Singapore to receive a then new air conditioned bus. Because it is considered premium and retail and high class to take the public bus, the Singapore law decided to separate fares into aircon and non aircon buses. The aircon bus was so popular in the early days until the law asked SPS to buy more aircon buses. However, the complicated things had started. The aircon bus fare is much more expensive than non aircon buses, so the commuters decided to take the cheaper option instead. The Singapore law noticed that most of the population skips aircon buses and instead takes the non aircon ones. That's when the law decides to limit the number of aircon and non aircon buses. However, SBS chose to buy more non aircon buses such as Scania and Momentum CRB, Mercedes Benz 0405 Duper Mistake, and Volvo Olympian 2XL. SBS decides to purchase more non aircon bus models because of rather affordable and cheaper fare for commuters and the maintenance. In the past, there were no aircon systems or any other aircon maintenance. All you need is to maintain the sliding windows. It's relatively cheap to maintain non aircon the aircon bus. Well, obviously. In 1997, aircon buses were the standard purchase for future buses till today. Some of the 4 DT Rego of Scania and 112 CRB and the entire fleet of Mercedes Benz 045 DM and AC fleet had converted into complete air conditioning between the late 90s and early 2000s. As more aircon buses were deployed on SBS services, the separation fare of non aircon and aircon buses has ceased and merged into the one single fare. Today, the NAC buses will remain as memories for all Singaporeans. Were you taken any of the non aircon buses in the past? Comment down below! Thanks for watching and do leave a like, comment, and subscribe.